Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install TensorFlow 2.0 GPU version on an Ubuntu slash Linux machine. Now this should work for any version of Linux or any Linux operating system, although the one I am going to be showing you on is Ubuntu 18.0.4. Now you may notice that I'm actually on a Windows machine right now and that this is actually just an Ubuntu terminal that's open. Now I'm actually just SSH'd into a server that I have that contains two 1080 graphics cards, so GTX 1080s, and that's how I'm going to be showing you how to do this. Now quickly, if you don't understand the difference between the CPU and the GPU version, the CPU version is essentially just way slower. And you would only really use the CPU version if you don't have a graphics card in your computer that is capable of running TensorFlow 2.0 GPU. So quickly, before we go forward and you guys get frustrated with not being able to install this, make sure that you have a graphics card that actually works for this program or for this module. That means you have to have a graphics card that is a GTX 1050 Ti or higher. Those are the ones that are listed on TensorFlow's website as compatible with TensorFlow 2.0 GPU. If you want to have a quick thing without having to go to the website to see if yours works, if it has four gigs of video RAM and is a GTX generation card or higher, it most likely works with TensorFlow 2.0. Now, I don't know about all the different cards, but if you have any questions, leave them below. I'll try to answer that for you. But any 1060, 1070, 1080 or RTX cards that have CUDA cores on them will work for this. Essentially, you just need a CUDA enabled GPU so you can check if yours meets that requirement before moving forward. Now to do this, I'm just going to be following the steps listed on the TensorFlow website. Now you may run into some issues while doing this, um, but for Ubuntu, this is pretty straightforward and I'm essentially just going to be copying these commands and pasting them in my terminal. Now, if you'd like to just try to do this without following along with video, go ahead, but I will be kind of showing you some fixes that I ran into while I was doing this. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So actually, let me just split the screen up so we can have a look at both of them at once. I'm in my uh, Linux machine right now. You just have to get to the terminal. You notice that I don't even have a desktop and I'm literally just going to start copying and pasting these commands. Now, the first thing that we need to install is actually um, CUDA. Now, CUDA is what allows us to use the CUDA cores on our GPU to actually run the code. So just go ahead and keep copying these commands. It will take a second. And I actually already have this installed on my machine. So I'm going to go through the steps with you guys. But again, if anything is different on my machine, that's probably because it's already installed. So if you don't know how to copy it into a window like this, um, you just right click on your mouse and it'll copy if you're using a server like I am. Um, but anyways, we'll just go through all of these and <laughs> keep going. Now I will have all these commands listed in my description as well. And that should show you guys, you know, if the website goes down at any point, you can just copy it from there as well. So yeah, literally just keep going. All we're doing here is adding NVIDIA packages. We're going to make sure we have the NVIDIA drivers for our graphics card that are correct. And then we're going to go ahead and install TensorFlow 2.0. Uh, so yeah, just go through these commands. There's not really much for me to say as I copy these in and eventually we will get through them all. All right, so now we're going to install the NVIDIA driver. You can see that's all commented out on this TensorFlow website here. Copy that. And again, just continue to go. I don't really have any commentary for you guys here. So we'll copy this. This is going to install, obviously, the development and runtime libraries, which we need. And it says minimum four gigs or approximately four gigabytes, which will mean that's how long, it, how many gigabytes is going to take up on a machine. So this will take a second. Uh, and I'll fast forward through these stuff if it does take a while. Finally, we're going to install tensor RT. I don't even know what this is, but apparently it's required. And then after we're done this, we should actually be finished installing everything that we need for TensorFlow 2.0 to work. Again, if you guys want to go through this, just go to the website, copy all of these commands in order, paste them into here, and they should work properly. Now, finally, what we have to do is actually install TensorFlow 2.0. So we've got all of the dependencies dependencies installed. And now to install TensorFlow 2.0, we're just going to say pip3 install tensorflow and i believe we're going to say hyphen gpu and then equals equals 2.0 point i gotta find it up here to make sure that we do it correctly 2.0.0 hyphen alpha zero like that so then we'll do that and that should install tensorflow 2.0 for us now i already have this installed but this will actually take a few minutes to install because there is quite a bit of stuff that it needs to download on your computer so anyways that has been it for installing tensorflow 2.0 on your computer using the GPU version. Again, throughout the rest of the neural network series, I'm going to be going forward 
doing this on an Ubuntu machine, so running all of the code. I'll do the development in Windows, um, throw the files on my server, train the model, train the models, excuse me, and then take the models off and um, use them on my Windows machine. So if you want to validate if this is working, you can really quickly just do Python 3 in Linux, and then you can say do import TensorFlow, and doing that, you shouldn't get any errors. And if you don't get any errors, then you have successfully installed TensorFlow 2.0. Now, a few errors here, if you guys are still listening and stuff wasn't working, if for some reason when you install TensorFlow and you notice that it's not using your GPU, go ahead and uninstall the CPU version of TensorFlow. So just pip3 un uninstall and then TensorFlow. And I guess you'd have to just do uh, just TensorFlow like that. And that will install the CPU version if it is installed in your machine. So anyways, that has been it for how to install TensorFlow 2.0 GPU version on Ubuntu. Pretty straightforward. Just go through, copy these commands. And if you guys have any questions or errors, please just leave them in the comments below. And I will try my best to help you out.